this video we will discuss about load vector so let's go there is some theory uh, so the load vector is comes from lagrange basis function multiply q with that means f of x in here okay so we need to define the lagrange basis function and a function that defines our temperature variable so here this is the function and we are defining this one a a to b again a to b we discussed the grid generator in the previous video so uh, this is a series so you if you miss the previous video just see the previous video video uh, tutorial one two three and this is the four so here again we converting it to minus one to one and uh, when it is converting say that x equals to uh, this one a a e plus z plus one by two b element a element this is called we are calling this one as math lab in x e in here you see x e a element z uh, one plus one b element and a element again a and z comes from the gauss legendary function and a element and b element comes from the grid generator and n q number of exactness it comes from this formula so here <clears throat> and uh, the just to see the formula how can it comes and the formula the actual formula is there so we have to form a k loops uh, it depends on k and k and inside the each of the uh, Lagrange basis function instead of x we will give here x e that means this value so you also see uh, here you see that each Lagrange basis function depends on the x value so that means we will replace the x value at x e cost legendary okay so we came in here x x e x e and x e and w k this comes from gauss legendary and here uh, so we make the loop one two element again this one alpha line is space this one is previous video like that and we multiply we need uh, this b minus a by two that means this one b minus a divided divided by two excuse me and this one insert the k loop so here the k loop is one two and q number of quadrature and uh, and uh, inside the k loop there is i loop i one two and plus one uh, because in here you see uh, the l also load vector also a matrix array one two three four so we are defining this one as i and this one as k that's why we say this is only i i1 i2 i3 i4 okay <clears throat> so at the end we multiply this temporary value uh, psi fx and wk here uh, psi fx and wk and then add it uh, adding it as there is a summation you see there is a summation so here that's why we are adding it and uh, at the end we multiply this one alpha divided by two <clears throat> so when we will talk the next uh, video about the global stiffness matrix how to form it so thanks for watching the video <clears throat>